In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve 5 total parental nutrition calculation questions and we are starting right now. Hello, this is Dr. Dankwa. And if this is your first time here and you'd like to learn pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks, and strategies, then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So the questions in this video are from our NAPLEX Calculations Question Bank, which is the largest pharmaceutical calculation bank on the planet. Now, if you'd like to check it out, I'm going to put the link to the question bank in the description. Also, if you'd like to see additional TPN calculation videos, we have so many on the channel and I'm going to link a playlist in the description as well. So let's get right to it. This question says, what is the protein requirement in grams of a normal unstressed 70 kilogram male? Round to the nearest whole number. Do not include units. So here, the goal of the question actually is to determine the amount of protein that this 70 kilogram male would actually need. In this question, it's important to pay close attention to the phrase that says normal unstressed because this tells us the condition of the patient and that also guides us as to how much protein the patient needs to get on a daily basis. It's also important to stress here that the purpose of protein for a TPN is not to produce energy but rather to build tissues and body strength. So for a normal unstressed patient, the guidelines indicate that you provide 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram per day. So for this 70 kilogram male, what we can do is basically use dimension analysis. So we multiply this factor, the 0.8 grams per kilogram per day by the weight of the patient, which is 70 kilograms. The kilograms cancel out. And so now the actual amount of protein that the patient gets per day is going to be equal to the 0.8 grams times 70. And that gives 56 grams of protein per day. This question says, what is the fluid requirement in milliliters of a 50-year-old male who weighs 250 pounds if a factor of 30 milliliters per kilogram is to be used? Round to the nearest whole number. Do not include units. Now, one of the things that you typically have to do when it comes to total parental nutrition is to be able to calculate the fluid requirement for the patient. Now, there are a number of ways you could do that. A common approach is to use the factor method where you can use factors between 30 milliliters per kilogram of body weight to 35 milliliters per kilogram of body weight. You could also use a factor based on the body surface area and that typically is 1500 milliliters per square meter of body surface area. Now in this question, what we are using is the factor method and we've been given a factor of 30 milliliters per kilogram of body weight. And so what we can do here is actually conveniently use dimensional analysis. And the way that will work is to start off with the factor, which is 30 milliliters per kilogram and multiply that by the weight of the patient. So here the patient actually weighs 250 pounds. The units of kilogram and pound are not consistent, so we need to convert the pounds to kilograms. And so we do another quick conversion where we use the conversion factor. 2.2 pounds is equal to one kilogram. The pounds cancel out, the kilograms also cancel out, and now you're left in the units of milliliters. So we can go ahead and multiply all the terms in the numerator and divide by all the terms in the denominator. And then when we simplify, that should give us the answer. So that would imply that we have 30 milliliters times 250 times one divided by 2.2. And that is equal to 3409.09. Now the question says round to the nearest whole number. And so that would imply that we have 3409. This question says, using the Aspen guidelines, 25 kilocal per kilogram per day, stress factor 0 0.85, calculate the total daily energy requirement in kilocal of a 50-year-old female who weighs 90 kilograms. Round to the nearest whole number. Do not include units. So let's just break the question down before we proceed to the solution. The goal here in this question is to determine the total daily energy requirement. And it's important to recognize that you are using the Aspen guidelines. So Aspen is the American Society for Parenteral and Interior Nutrition. 
So it's important to stress that when you're using the Aspen guidelines, the way you calculate the total daily energy requirement is to use the equation total daily expenditure is equal to 25 to 35 kilocal per kilogram per day times the stress factor. So here it's important to make the distinction that in the equation, what we have here, the 25 to 35, that is a range. But in the question, we're actually told to use 25 kilocal per kilogram per day. And this value is typically used for a mildly stressed patient. So we can proceed to calculate the TDE. So that would imply that TDE, which is total daily expenditure, is equal to 25 kilocal per kilogram per day. And that value is coming from this value in the now it's important to mention here that before you multiply by the stress factor you actually want to determine the exact kilocals that this person is going to get based on their weight so we need to multiply the 25 kilocal per kilogram per day by the weight of the patient from the question the weight has been given as 90 kilograms so we multiply this by 90 kilograms and so the kilograms can cancel out you're now in kilocals per day so we can now go ahead and multiply the 25 kilocal per day times the 90 by the stress factor. So that would be, you multiply this whole thing by the 0 0.85, which is the stress factor that was given in the question. And when we do the math, that should give 1912.5. But notice the question says round to the nearest whole number. So that would be equal to 1913. This question says, how many kilocals are in 87 grams of protein? Round to the nearest whole number. Do not include units. So here the goal is to determine the kilocalories that is obtained from 87 grams of protein. It's important to recall that when you are using protein in a total parental nutrition, proteins are used as a source of amino acids for new protein synthesis. So primarily the purpose of proteins in a total parental nutrition is to build tissues and body strength, not so much as to produce energy. But you do get some energy from proteins and energy is produced by proteins by a factor of 4 kilocals per gram. So that factor 4 kilocals per gram is what is actually needed to solve this question. And so the way we proceed is we start off with the factor 4 kilocals per gram, which means that every gram of protein provides 4 kilocals of energy. And then we multiply this by the grams of protein, so times 87 grams. The grams cancel out. And so you have 4 kilocals times 87, and that is equal to 348. This question says, a 56-year-old white male has a height of 77 inches and weight of 300 pounds. His protein requirement is 1.2 gram per kilogram per day, and has stress factor of 1.3 and activity factor of 1.2. What is his carbohydrate requirement in milliliters using D50W? If 70% of non-protein calories is from carbohydrates, round to the nearest whole number, do not include units. So in this question, the goal is to determine the volume in milliliters of D50W that is needed to supply the patient's carbohydrate requirement. Now, the carbohydrate requirement for this patient is 70% of non-protein calories. So the strategy in this question is to actually determine what the non-protein calories is. And the way you do that is to first determine the total daily expenditure and then you also determine the calories that you get from the proteins and then you subtract the calories you get from the proteins from the total daily expenditure and that will give you the non-protein calories. Then you find 70% of that and then you end up with your answer. So to start off, we first need to determine the total daily expenditure. And the way you do that is to use this equation. The equation is actually stating that your total daily expenditure, TDE, is equal to BEE times activity factors times the stress factors. Now it's important to mention here that the BEE is the basal energy expenditure. Now the way you determine the basal energy expenditure is to make use of an equation. And there are two versions, this one for males and one for females. And so when you have this type of question, one of your goals is to determine from the question what the gender of the patient is. In this question, the patient is a white male. So we are going to use the version of the BEE equation that is suitable for males. And what that looks like is your BEE is equal to 66.7 plus into parenthesis 13.75 times the weight of the patient in kilograms plus into parenthesis 5 times height of the patient in centimeters minus into parenthesis 6.76 times the age of the patient in years. Now to successfully use the BEE equation, you need to ensure that the units of the patient parameters provided in the question 
is consistent with what is in the equation. So in the equation, the weight of the patient is given in kilograms, the height of the patient is given in centimeters, and the age is given in years. Now from the question, we see that the height is given in inches and the weight is given in pounds. So we need to convert the inches to centimeters for the height and then convert the 300 pounds to kilograms for the weight. The age is fine because the age is given in years as 56 years. So let's start off with the weight. The weight needs to be converted from pounds to kilograms. The patient's weight is 300 pounds. And so we will convert that to kilograms using the conversion factor that 2.2 pounds is equal to 1 kilogram. The pounds cancel out and now essentially you have 300 divided by 2.2 and that's equal to 136.36 kilograms. We can also go ahead and convert the height of the patient to centimeters. The patient's height is given as 77 inches. We want to convert the inches to centimeters. We'll use the conversion factor that one inch is 2.54 centimeters. The inches cancel out. We have 77 times 2.54 centimeters, and that is equal to 195.58 centimeters. So now that we have the patient's weight in kilograms and the patient's height in centimeters, we can go ahead and determine the BEE for this patient. So BEE, which is basal energy expenditure, is going to be equal to 66.7 plus into parenthesis 13.75 times the weight of the patient in kilograms, which is 136.36 plus into parenthesis 5 times the height of the patient in centimeters, which is 195.58 minus into parenthesis 6.76 times the age of the patient in years. Now the age is given as 56, so times 56. That is equal to 2534.172 kilocal. So we can now proceed to determine the TDE. So TDE, total daily expenditure, is going to be equal to the BEE, which we calculated to be 2534.172 times the activity factor. Activity factor is given as 1.2, so times 1.2 times the stress factor. Stress factor is given as 1.3 times 1.3, and that's going to be equal to 3953.31 kilocal. Now, the next step is to determine the calories that the patient is getting from proteins. And so the way we do that is to make use of the protein requirement. And the question is given as 1.2 grams per kilogram per day. So we'll start off with the protein requirement, which is 1.2 grams per kilogram per day. And we'll multiply this by the patient's weight. Now, since the denominator has units of kilogram, we can go ahead and use the kilogram version of the weight, which we determined earlier. So we multiply this by 136.36 kilograms. The kilograms cancel out. And now you are in grams per day, but we need to have the value in kilocal. So we'll make use of the conversion factor, which states that proteins produce energy by a factor of four kilocals per gram of protein. So we multiply by four kilocal divided by one gram. The grams cancel out and you're now in kilocal per day. So 1.2 times the 136.36 times 4 kilocals, that gives 654.4 kilocal per day. Now, as a reminder, in the question, we need to determine 70% of non-protein calories. So non-protein calories is the difference between the TDE and then the calories from the protein. So we need to proceed by determining the non-protein calories. So non-protein calories is going to be equal to 3953.31 kilocal minus the 654.4 kilocal. And that's actually equal to 3298.91 kilocal. So in the next step, we need to actually determine 70% of the 3298.91. And so that would imply that you have 70 divided by 100 times 3298.91 kilocal but we need to convert the kilocals to volume in milliliters and the way to do that is to first convert the kilocals to grams and then make use of the 50 percent which counts on the d50w so the way that would look like is we will need to recall that carbohydrates or dextrose produces energy by a factor of 3.4 kilocal per gram 
So we multiply this by one gram divided by 3.4 kilocal. The kilocal cancels out and now we have units in grams. But the question says to use D50W which is 50% dextrose in water and that will imply that for every 100 milliliters of D50W solution, you have 50 grams of dextrose. So now the grams can cancel out. So we're actually using dimensional analysis very effectively here. And so what you need to do next is actually go ahead and multiply all the terms in the numerator. So that would imply that you have 70 times 3298.91 times 1 times 100 milliliters divided by 100 times 3.4 times 50. So when you go ahead and do all the math, that is going to be equal to 1358.37 milliliters. But notice the question says round to the nearest whole number. Do not include units. And so that's going to be equal to 1358. So I hope you found this video tutorial useful. If you did, be sure to like it and share it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I see them. If you like to learn more pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks, and strategies, then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. My job here is done, but yours has just begun. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.